وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. كودي how you doing brother? Uh, good thanks how are you? الحمد لله الحمد لله. is your nephew? Yeah, my doing, nephew man? Matt. how you doing Matt? good man you? good good man. الحمد لله is a great day man. إن شاء الله it's your first day of your new life. for sure man. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So where in Canada are you? Uh, just in Surrey, British Columbia. Oh, oh nice. we're in Chilliwack oh, right now. Ch- oh, yeah, Chilliwack, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know the difference between the two, so <laughs> you get yeah. it. <laughs> alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So has Cody already talked to you a lot about Islam? You have any questions still? Uh, Yeah, pretty. he's pretty much told me pretty much all about it. It's like bettering myself and being on the right path and there you go, yeah. man. Accepting the truth. You know, that's the thing. Uh, Islam Islam is not a new religion. You know, it's the same religion that Adam and Abraham and Moses and Jesus and Muhammad, peace and be upon all of them. That's the one yeah. that they taught. I mean, it's got no corruptions and changes like you find in the church. You know, alhamdulillah, yeah. we don't just say, okay, somebody died for our sins. So I'm going to heaven. Like, no false promises. It's all about the truth, you know. You yeah. believe in the creator. Then you do your best. We're all going to have shortcomings. We ask our Creator for mercy and forgiveness. We try to be the best version of ourselves that we can be. And yeah. that's Islam for you. Yeah. No, it seems pretty It's good. Alhamdulillah. Any questions you still have? Uh, no, everything's pretty, pretty good. Nice. Nice. Alhamdulillah. I know uh, your uncle Cody, mashallah, I met him the first time I was uh, in Western Canada. And yes. alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, I'd been to Toronto before, but never the West Side. So I yeah. met him, and Alhamdulillah, he accepted Islam and his girlfriend at the time, and then her mother. So may Allah reward him and bless him. Mashallah, he is a beacon of guidance for people, uh, and may Allah make you, Inshallah, means of the guidance of all of mankind uh, yes. as as a representative, Inshallah. Okay. All right. So. Uh, if you don't have any other questions, then we'll do your shahada. From then on, you will be a Muslim. Your past is wiped away. Any sins, any anything you did in the past, gone. It will be the first day of your new life. You ready? Okay. Yeah, for sure. All right. Do you want to do English first or Arabic first? Oh, uh, we can do Arabic first. Nice. You're brave, man. I like it. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to say it. You just repeat it after me. All right? Yeah. All right. Ashadu Ashadu Al Al La La Ilaha Ilaha Illallah Illallah Wa Ashadu Wa Ashadu Anna Anna Muhammada Muhammada Abduhu Abduhu Wa Rasulu Wa Rasulu Allahu Akbar. You're Muslim. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. That's it. All right. You ready for the English? Yeah. I bear witness. I bear witness. There is none worthy of worship. There is none worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad. Is the servant. Is the servant. And messenger of Allah. A messenger of Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. You got a great you got a great teacher with you, our brother Cody. But at the same yeah. time, if you got questions, Cody's got my son's contact, he's got my contact. You can ask questions. Inshallah he'll get you. We have some videos on how to how to pa- how to pray, how to do the evolution, and you know, other videos to kind of get you an educational uh yes. journey. And again, take it easy, slowly, steadily. You know, the most important thing is being steadfast. You know, I know uh, a shaitan, the devil, will try to tempt you here and there. You got to stay on it. Even if you make a mistake, you fall off, you just get right back on it. You feel me? Yeah, of course. 100%. Well, you've got your uncle there. But again, we're all your brothers and sisters in Islam. Every Muslim is your brother. So whatever you need, we got you, inshallah. All right. Thank you.
All right, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Yeah. Brother Cody, may Allah accept all your good work that you're doing, mashallah. Your nephews become Muslim. Alhamdulillah, this will be in your uh, scale of good deeds. So tell us about the situation in in, uh, your part of Canada. Yes, so it's it's pretty crazy because I think it was right before COVID or right after the first school that they found these bodies at, I think was 216 bodies. And that was a Catholic residential school. This is a Catholic school? Yeah, Catholic residential school. I do believe there's uh, the first one where they found the bodies at was Kamloops, BC in Canada. And now they've found more bodies throughout um canada here at different residential schools and they're over two thousand bodies right now and so, that's what the, so, the sweater uh, so every child matters that's from that's every interesting. Child. so so these bodies were all found on the grounds of catholic schools yeah yes was it, so what are they expecting that or suspecting that these were priests doing the murders or yeah because there's even documentaries of survivors that will tell this story of how the priests would take the children, they would get them drunk with alcohol, and they would either be raped and returned alive, or if they, or they would, they would not return, right? That's Nobody insane. Knew, or sometimes they would run away, and then they'd get found because I guess they would show up door to door to First Nations housing, and even the police, they would take their children right out of their mother's arms, like, literally kidnap their children. Wow. You know, this is going on in Europe right now, too. A lot of houses you're seeing Muslim children being uh, kidnapped by the police, you know, and mm-hmm. crying and the children want to be at there with their families. So so, yeah. so let me, because a lot of people may not understand or know, I and mean, people can look it up, inshallah, after this video. But so in uh, Canada now, this is the First Nations, meaning the Native people, what we in America would call Native Americans, but you call the First Nation. Their children were taken by force and put in these Catholic schools, and then those Catholic, Christian, whatever priests that they were, were raping and murdering them, and how many bodies have been found? There's over 2,000. It could be up to 3,000. SubhanAllah, man. How come we don't hear about this on Fox no. or CNN? Or... Why? Honestly, the first Catholic residential schools in North America were actually in the States, and they don't want to oh. tell you the truth over there, most likely. I don't, I'm not going to say what the, the reasons are, but I'm guessing because they don't want to have investigations going on in the States because it doesn't oh, help. That them. is thousands of bodies found. This is a genocide. Yeah. Even I, I found out too um, afterwards because I asked my dad, I was like, what's our cookum? Cookum means grandma in the First Nation language, which is mm. Cree language mm. but I, I said was she in there and he said yeah she was in there and so that's how oh. christian forced on us because when they got put mm. in those schools they weren't allowed any connection to their family anymore as children their family oh. see them they had to change their names to an english name they weren't mm. allowed to speak native language and they were forced christianity and then i just found out i don't know why my dad wasn't saying it but uh, just a couple weeks ago i was talking to my dad and I guess when he was four, four or five years old, he was actually in that school for a year or two. No way. Yeah. This is the same thing the Spanish did in South America, uh, Catholics and so on. Uh, you know, in San Diego, we have a place called Presidio Park. And this is the Presidio is one of the first, uh, you know, the, these missions that were sent out by the Spanish and, you know, the French and others, did the same stuff. But under the cross, what they would do is they would set up these places and the natives that were here, they would take their children, make them forget their language, forget their culture, forget their religion. It wasn't trying to convert them. It was basically by force. Yeah. Rape. I mean, and as, as you know, I mean, the Catholic Church has had definitely a, a big issue with rape, but it's a lot bigger than we can even imagine. You know, when you talk yeah. about Los Angeles and Boston, uh, there's an interesting documentary um, I forgot the name of it because you know I don't watch much of the TV, but it was about Baltimore. Uh, it was on Netflix about the murders that went on by the Catholics um, and how people would cover it up, including police officers. You know, yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know, that was another thing too. If I can, like, I would like to give an, a message to the Native Americans: is that before the Christian faith got forced on us, we believed in the Great Creator. You know, the creator to Islam for me 
it offered me a way to get back to actually, you know, praying to the creator of the universe, you know, that original creator, not a human god that was forced on him. It's so true. I mean, we have a brother here from Arizona that lived on what we call the reservations. And he was saying the same thing. He said, you know, the people on the reservation, the old folk, they said we worshipped one great creator. They didn't give it an image. They didn't call it a person. Exactly. You know, uh, and and Christianity basically did away with a lot of that. And they, they taught them a history that didn't exist. You know, a, a yeah. lot of the things that we see are, are attempts, even Kwanzaa. You know, Kwanzaa was developed by the FBI to try to get African-Americans to stop going to Islam and make their own, you know, made up holidays, uh, you know, and that documentary is called The Keepers. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, it talks about the Catholic Church in Baltimore and the murders, the cover ups, the rapes. You know, uh, people forget the horrendous crimes that have been committed under the cross, whether by Catholics or Christians or Protestants or whatever, the Spanish Inquisition, uh, the genocide, you know, uh, people don't want to talk about it here. I mean, now you just, uh, I had never heard about it. Mm -hmm. 3,000 dead children bodies that are being discovered and I hadn't even heard about it and it's right here in our own backyard you know yeah and like I bet you a lot of Native Americans like I know there are a lot that are you know they're done with Christianity you know yeah. some, some continue with it but a lot are done with it and I think they're probably pretty sensitive towards any religion now but that's yeah. why I want to clarify like Islam brings us back to that actual creator of the universe and it gives us a way of life uh, you know, to help our uh, restore our health, like avoiding intoxicants, keeping out yeah. of the casino, everything that's good for our people collectively, right? So if you're watching and you're Native American, this is this is for you. Look, Islam is the solution. You know, we have a lot of alcoholism and abuse on the on the reservations. Islam will get you away from all of that. The the casinos are just another way to try to distract you from developing yourself and depending on something else, which again is from the evils of society. Instead, uh, as our brother Cody and others are doing, you come back to your true creator, worshiping the one creator. I know even a lot of atheists and a lot of people that want to get away from religion, it, their issue is not with religion or Islam. Their issue is with Christianity or Catholicism. And that's the thing. Many atheists that I speak to, when they talk about their issues with religion, it's always issues that have to do with the Christian faith, not with Islam. So yeah. if you don't know about Islam, you're Native American, you're watching this, this is a this is a reminder for you to come learn about Islam, and inshallah, inshallah, by the will of Allah, the the great people that were the original inhabitants of these great lands will rise again under the banner of Islam. Sure. All right, I'll let you go. Assalamualaikum. Uh, inshallah, inshallah, I'm gonna plan on coming out to uh, Canada, and me and you are gonna do some dawah in the First Nation area. <laughs> <laughs>